Hey everyone, welcome back for another MCAT question of the day. I'm Theo Bennett, one of the MCAT tutors here at MCAT Self Prep, and today I'm going to be walking you through this question as if you were one of my MCAT tutoring students. Let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be working through one of the end of lesson mastery quizzes. These are quizzes that we've developed that are AMC style questions that correspond to our free e-course. Feel free to try it out for yourself and then I'll go ahead and provide you with my own explanation. To answer this question, we need to understand a little bit more about the parvo and magnocellular pathways. Both are involved in visual processing. Now, this slide can look a little bit intimidating, but there's really one key concept that I want you to take away from here. The first is that there are two distinct pathways that visual information is processed through. These two pathways both go to the LGN, or lateral geniculate nucleus of the thalamus, and then project to the cortex. So they go from the retina in the eye to the thalamus, to the cortex. And they actually go to different locations in both the thalamus and in the cortex. This parvo and magnocellular pathway distinction is maintained until it goes to higher order processing. So the next logical question that you might have is, what's the difference between the parvo and magnocellular pathways? Well, the parvocellular pathway is involved in seeing color. This is going to be high re resolution information and specifically high resolution color information. Magnocellular pathways are going to be involved in motion. These are going to be faster processing, kind of like a higher shutter speed on a camera, but they won't be as high acuity or as detail focused. So when you see parvo, I want you to think of pigment for color. And when you see magno, I want you to think of motion for spatial resolution and fast uh, motion processing. Now, Looking at this question, in order to answer it, we need to see whether the magno or parvocellular pathways are involved, or both. Looking at the question, we can see that Sam is staring at road signs that are passing quickly by, and so this tells me that the magnocellular pathway is involved, because, again, motion is involved. So I can get rid of answer choices B and D. Now I just need to see, is the parvocellular pathway involved? I can see in the question stem that there are no indications that color is involved. And because I know the AMC is not trying to trick me, I'm just going to go ahead and pick answer choice C. Thanks again for watching, and as always, be sure to check out more videos and other material on MCAT Self Prep, home of the free MCAT eCourse. Additionally, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe for future videos like this in the future. Thanks again.